So you want to learn about weapons, do you? Well, have I got a guide for you. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Dark Monster here. And today we're going to be taking a look at the different movesets for all of these different weapons. Uh, the only ones I'm going to really cover are the ones from the Iron Set. And that's because that should be, you know, pretty representative of what you're going to find. There are going to be exceptions, especially with the legendary weapons and things like that. But... The iron should be the same as the steel and same as the ancient and all sorts of other things for the most part. And these are the ones you should be able to get access to pretty early. So without further ado, let's get into it. Alrighty, so there's going to be a few modifiers to how we do this. Three variations on these, the one-handed weapons, right? The first is going to be when we have a weapon such as this iron broadsword with no other weapon in our offhand. So the basic light attacks. That's our chain of four. And then the heavy attacks. Now you see those lights at the end? That indicates that those two attacks will cripple. And then when we have a shield, I'm sorry, before that, when we don't have a shield and we do the button that normally block, we kick. And then when we have a shield, nothing changes with the light attacks, but the heavy attacks. You see, the third strike still remains a cripple, but the second and fourth are shield breaking attacks. And then with the axe, the throwing axes, when you have the weapon stays the same here Way more multi-hit and all crippling So that's fascinating I didn't know about that next up We have the iron short sword now. I didn't really like short swords or ever try to mess with them I never liked the idea of them um, until that is, we, I started playing the Isle of Subsipta, where there are some really good ones you can get, especially early on, and uh, they they do some, some damages. The nice thing is that they go and chain together very, very well and don't stop. This is a light attack string, and it don't stop, and it don't stop. And then the heavy attack, basically the same story. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah. Now the nice thing about these is that there's also a little uh little hidden secret technique. You do a heavy attack and then a bunch of light attacks. And you get the stabby stab and a slash. Now this is mainly important for some of the ones you get in the Isles of Sipta. Because they have a lot of bonus effects on them. The ones here have zero bonus effects. They're just raw DPS. But they do stack up DPS pretty quick because they are rapid hitting. And then with a uh, shield. I'm sorry. Very quickly. Without a shield. They do this little slash and jump back. I imagine it's kind of like you do this. And then you come in and you cha 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 Something like that, right? Something like a... Uh, a ya, a ya, 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 right? But uh, with a shield, you would be blocking instead of that little slashback. Let's see, nothing else changes. All these are still the same. With an axe, same thing, nothing changes. All right, moving on, we have the mace, one of my favorite weapons, and a great weapon to give to thralls. So, you saw there on the light attacks, you have two effects that come out. On the third strike, you get a cripple, I'm sorry, not a, cripple, a shield break, and on the fourth strike, you get a sunder. Sunder meaning that they... Uh, have their armor reduced and thus you do more damage really nice and the heavy attacks One two 
three, and then four. So some of these are kind of multi-hit attacks. One is a multi-hit because it goes up and comes down. And then one, two, three, and then four is a multi-hit where he spins around and then swings it down. And that does two applications of sunder. Very nice, very nice. Um, with a shield, I'm sorry, without a shield, you just kick with a shield. The light attacks stay the same, still apply both effects. With the heavy attack, that last hit, instead of being a um, multi hitting sunder attack, is a sunder attack that will launch an enemy. And it will knock them up and give them a hard knockdown, but it'll also apply that sunder. And then with an axe, the light attacks stay the same. The heavy attacks, a bunch of cripple and multi hits, which is interesting. Next up, we have the axes, the war axes. So, light attack string. These weapons are a bit of a fan favorite amongst a lot of people. Heavy attacks. You see there, it starts out with a shield break and then a shield breaking swing, a bleed, and then a bleed. So all four attacks apply some sort of effect. And then when we do not have a shield, you kick with a shield. Same thing, no special effect on these. Shield break, shield break, bleed, bleed and knock down or knock back, usually knock back, uh, but still applies bleed. So still can apply two stacks of bleed with the last two hits of the heavy attack chain. And then with the axes, throwing axe plus the war axe style, light attacks do not change, heavy attacks. Just like the mace, it converts it into a bunch of multi-hitting cripple strikes. Seems very nice. Next up, we have the javelin. Javelin can be used with a shield, it cannot. Either way, it stays the same. Um, block without a shield, you kick. Just like a normal weapon. However, when you heavy attack, you do not get a heavy attack chain. You get a throw. Okay, uh, sorry, there's a bug going on where I still have this even though I just threw it So that's interesting when I get rid of it I got to pick a different weapon. It's gonna go out of my hotbar. Interesting weird but next thing we're gonna look at is the uh, Axe here See it's still in my hand when I do this and then Do that and throw it. That's the light attack or the special attack If I heavy attack nothing happens because it's not my main weapon when you do the special attack, it'll throw it. And then I still have them because I have a couple in my inventory. So even though I pick it up, it doesn't seem to give it back to me, which is weird. I don't know. Odd. But who knows? Give me a second and we'll get back with the heavy weapons. Alrighty, I actually misspoke there. I did not mean heavy. I mean two-handed, which some of them tend to be heavy. Not all of them. Speaking of which, Iron Daggers, you saw me use these to great effect against the crocodile boss and many other things. These are the favored starting weapons um, because they apply bleed and bleed uh, very quickly and it's very potent early on. So it's your normal attacks, very quick forward stash, slashing stabs, and then your heavy attacks, all of which bleed. That one might even also cripple. I don't know. I've seen things get crippled. I'm not sure if I didn't see damage from a thrall or something else. I don't know. But if you know, let me know down in the comments below. Um, the reason that these are still better than punch daggers, even though punch daggers just got buffed and they effectively do the same kind of thing, in my opinion, my humblest of opinion, is that these apply bleed multi-hit on the heavy attacks and very quickly, very rapidly. So you just do this. You just bleed and yeet basically 
right one two three four five six and then you just yeet out of there run away and all of a sudden your target bleeds out dead whereas if we were to take a look at the by the way this is the special attack that you would do if you were to block because you can't block because you don't have a shield it's doing a weapon you get this instead the uh punch daggers though very rapid attacks they don't move you super far forward you stay pretty consistently here they attack very quickly and then the heavy attacks again all apply bleed but look at how slow the attack is they probably do a lot more damage per hit when we do this but the bleed stacks up only one hit at a time even though we're using both weapons i don't know why that is but that makes it so that these build up bleed very slowly compared to the daggers, which just one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You gotta do this whole thing. It's kind of annoying. And then the uh, special attack is a kind of guard breaking double slash. It looks like it multi hits, maybe. I think it does um I never never use this but I also don't pvp so who knows yeah not a huge fan of these to be honest with you they're cool they're fun not effective compared to your normal daggers that being said let's move on to your spears your uh pikes whatever you want to call them you have your normal attack Pretty much chain that together for a while and then you have your heavy attack bit further bit harder and then the last one in the chain the fourth one will bleed you can tell because it'll be the spin and it'll have that red on there now in my humble opinion i'd rather do three light attacks and then do the heavy which uses significantly less stamina than doing all four heavies see that put me down to 110 that put me down to 126 it matters it matters especially when you're trying to apply the bleed multiple times um but the main thing about these is that while these are really good for getting up in somebody's face and staggering them and bleeding them this is good for a little poking keep out or like if you get you know some height advantage on something like you hop up here on these rocks something that can't quite get to you because this face over here is kind of flat up you can just yeah 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 it's kind of annoying it's great the other thing is that if you have a bunch of enemies let's say you gave your thrall a trunjan you also have one you guys go into an encampment or a cave or whatever with a bunch of people we knock everybody the fuck out because you're trying to look for if there's any decent thralls to bring home and then you pick which ones you want cool but you also want to loot the dead bodies of the people that you knocked out well can't loot them because they're knocked out you can hit them with things you do like the oh man oh man oh dog oh, dog oh, they're over here oh god why you punch dagger the ground kind of like spin right but they keep moving around however you just take a spear just poke them to death much easier it's great for that then you can kill them loot their bodies move on to the next one You're like oh it's a crafter too i don't need the fucking carpenter too you just bah, die stupid pervert bam then they die and you loot their body or they fall through the ground because conan's a little buggy it's whatever don't worry about it anyway moving on we have the two-handed swords the great swords these are fantastic for doing aoe damage hitting multiple things especially when you give it to a thrall uh they tend to have really high damage decent armor pen and so they can just whoom 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 and then the heavy attack these tend to be uninterruptible and really good and they all seem to cripple uh very very good when your thrall goes ham on that and then the special attack is a shield negating or shield 
uh, breaking, whatever it is. Whenever I see an enemy do that, I just take the full hit. I can't seem to block this. You can't cancel out of it, basically at all. Like I'm spamming roll right now and it took that long. You can't do the old school way of like, put the weapon away like you used to be able to, but it's very strong, very good. And again, I like to give it to thralls. Now, next up, the katana also got buffed when the uh, punch daggers got buffed and their attack animations are a bit different. You can see it here. Very quick, very swift attacks. And they don't use a lot of stamina on these light attacks. And they hit not that much less hard than a uh, two-handed greatsword. Like you see here, 27 and 20, as opposed to 23 and 12. So, for how quickly they hit, they hit pretty hard. And then the heavy attack is a shield breaking one, and then two regular hits and a bleed attack. Now, I don't know if this one is blockable, like the uh, great sword tends to go through shields. I imagine that it might just, because it's part of a chain, it might just break guard faster. I don't know. But the fourth hit is where you get the bleed. And this attack chain is very slow. So I'd rather go one, two, three, and then fourth hit bleed if I'm gonna do it. But if I'm gonna bleed, I'm probably gonna do something different, but use what you got, right? And that is the katana. Oh, I'm sorry, I almost forgot. The special attack. You hear a glint and then you click the button, you get max charge. You do it without doing that, but you do hear that little glint and you see it, little. Ching. Uh, this is really good for like when you're sitting there fighting, right? And something's hitting you, you're you're dodging whatever, you're doing your thing, and all of a sudden you're up against a wall. You're like, oh shit! You just watch out, get off the wall, turn around, hit him, because it does go through enemies. Which, when you give a katana to your thrall, on one hand it's really cool because they can yeet out of being cornered, but at the other scenario they kind of do this a lot. So they'll be hitting something and they'll do this and they'll keep swapping sides So you can't go to the opposite side and just like fight whatever it is you're fighting that way it gets really irritating, but it is effective Next up we have the two-handed axes the war axes the battle axes, whatever you want to call them uh, Iron great axe. Let's go with that. So the light attacks very short and very stubby hits but pretty quick and then the heavy attacks really cool because they do you know hit kind of a good aoe now my problem with the this weapon in general and why i almost never use them zero armor pen pretty decent damage zero armor pen it has no special effect on the hits no cripple no bleed no sunder and it doesn't have any armor pen, so if anything has any sort of armor, they take significantly less damage. Which is really quite annoying. You pair it with somebody that, you know, you go out in a group and they're going to be using Sundering a lot. And it's going to help. It's not bad. But not having anything, no special effect at all, and no armor pen makes it so this just feels weak. And the short range of these really sucks. So I'm not a fan, but you do you. And then we come to the war hammer. These things are great. The 200 hammers are fun and effective and very strong too. Some of the higher DPS, because it usually has really high armor pen. You see, this is 27 and 20, and this is 24 and 40. So damage is quite comparable, definitely. Light attacks, good AOE, and the spin to win. I love it. I love the sound it makes. Heavy attack. Sunder. 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 And then a special animation there with two shield break hits going up and going down. You thought I was going to say Sunder Cats, didn't you? And this technically has a fifth hit when you do that. Because when you do that uh, going up, you have to do another heavy attack to go back down. And that will 
knock somebody up into a hard knockdown, which is important to note. And then uh, we didn't cover it on either of these two because they are literally the same. The special attack is literally just a kick. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. This one's not a kick. I never use it. I think it's a block. I always forget. Now, one of the downsides to giving your thrall this weapon is they like to just run up to things and try to kick. And they miss or they kick a giant crocodile and the crocodile don't care. Which is very annoying, but... They do have a tendency to do this Which sunders a lot and I mean a lot Which is very good So yeah, that's all the weapons. Hopefully this has been somewhat helpful somewhat enjoyable If you like it, please make sure you let me know uh, if you dislike it also Let me know whether you like or dislike it Leave a rating. It helps a lot so that I can know what I'm doing right what I'm doing wrong uh, if you have any questions any comments, any concerns, anything that you want to see in the future, any upcoming guides, please leave them in the comments below. Make sure you join the Discord, which I hope is going to be in the description. I might have forgotten already. I might have already uploaded this uh, and forgot to put it in there. I don't know. Remind myself now to do that. But um, join the Discord if you want to see more things and join the Twitch community if you want to watch and hang out while I do a variety of games, not just Conan. I believe that covers everything. Oh, and subscribe if you want to see more things coming down the line and be notified when they happen. Otherwise, you do you. I'm going to do me. Ladies and gentlemen, that's what it be. That's all for now. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, and I will catch you guys later.